issue of gun control will take center stage once again at the State House. Senate President Stephen Sweeney is leading the push in the Senate to get several reform measures approved. He joins me now from Trenton. Senate President, great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about what's on the agenda tomorrow. Which gun control bills and do they include uh, the centerpiece, uh, which is uh, concerning instant background checks? Yeah, it, it, it's my bill, which is actually something that we think is going to be a national model for gun control. It is instant background checks. It has uh, mandatory gun safety training and many other aspects. Uh, ammunition purchases on the Internet that are tracked and recorded. It's something that, you know, they try to do nationally and they couldn't do it. And we're going to do it here in New Jersey. And I think it's a very good piece of legislation, and not because it's my bill, but because we sat with both sides of the, you know, both sides of the issue on, on several occasions and, and listened to everybody and came up with what we think is, again, what I said, a national model. And there's several other bills uh, Senator Turner and others are sponsoring to get tough on illegal gun crime, uh, you know, mandatory minimums for a, a gun crime, and uh, no reduction of bail for gun crimes. So, you know, really getting to the problem that's taking place in the streets in our, in our communities that uh, are causing you know, obviously a lot of tragedy and a lot of heartache from uh, people being murdered and, and being abused in our streets with firearms. Okay, and in the assembly, some of the Democratic leaders um, said the sticking point for them was the restrictions on uh, magazine capacity. Is that still an issue? Have you found common ground? No, we, we don't agree on that issue, and I respect their opinion and position. But what really we need to focus on is background checks, making sure that all firearm sales have a background check, uh, that, that there is gun safety training for all, all people that have firearms, uh, that we deal with ammunition in a, in a proper way. And uh, like I said, I respect my colleagues in the assembly and their position on that issue. Uh, I think these other issues are way, way more important. So we'll agree to disagree on one issue, but we're focusing on many, many more. So the most important thing is that we're getting things done. And once this bill passes, hopefully the governor will sign it, uh, I have no indication whether he will or not, but if he does, this is something that people around the country will be looking at to do, which is instant background checks. Now, I want to switch gears, talk a little bit about political infighting. Um, tell me about the relationship between you and Senator Kane, uh, the majority leader. Um, he was on our program last week. Um, it seems like you both have exchanged um, um, some jabs, so to speak, at least procedurally. Tell me about this. Well, you know, I, I'm just tired of the partisan uh, atmosphere with, uh, with Tom Kane and what he's been doing. Look, for three and a half years, no one can question the fact that I've been willing to work across the aisle to get the big things done here in the state of New Jersey, and I'm proud of that. But I'm not going to play political games that Tom's playing. Earlier that day, we had a bunch of nominations that were for the administration, and Tom decided he was going to block those until the administration called and said, don't. So he granted the emergency. Look, Tom has said, I, I heard the things he's saying. He told Politicker one thing. He told you guys something different. Here's the fact. There is one word that was missing, called, and it was the Internet. It was in two places. You know, it wasn't that the members didn't read the bills. They've had the bills. They had the bill comments. And, you know, quite honestly, every Republican, when my bill went forward, voted against it. So I really wasn't expecting Republican support on the bill. But, you know, uh, you know, courtesy is a two-way street. And, you know, I don't understand why Tom's behaving and acting the way he is, but I'm not going to sit for it. Uh, you know, I don't believe in that. That's what's wrong in Washington. And if Tom Kane is against common-sense gun reform, uh, shame on him. Okay. Well, have because you told this to him directly, state... uh, Senate President, have you told this to him directly? Have you had words face-to-face -face about this? We haven't spoken uh, since since the incident where he blocked gun reform. We haven't spoken because, like I said, I'm not going to deal with it. Uh, you know, there's a respect thing. I, I live on a two-way street. I, show, I have shown Tom nothing but respect for three and a half years. We have did major legislation where I had him as my co-prime sponsor. So why? Because it's six months before an election, we're going to play these childish games. I have no idea. But, you know, he needs to knock it off and recognize that gun reform is needed in this state. Uh, be honest, now that you got caught, now, you know, don't say that the members didn't know the bills, didn't see the bills, didn't understand. It was one word in the bill in two places. And, uh, you know, 
you know, at least own up to what you're doing. Well, you know, he's, he's told people different things. Senate President, we're going to have to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.